hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to cover the getting started guide for lilygo thmi display okay now if you want to visit the product page then you can click here and you can be navigated to the product page and if you want to go to the github repository from lilygo which contain the library example and everything then you will be navigated to this github repository okay using this link now here you can see the product page of lilygo thmi display now this lilygo thmi display comes with esp32 s3 microcontroller okay it supports the wireless connectivity wi-fi and bluetooth 5 you can program this using arduino id and micropython now you will get 16 mb of flash and 8 mb of psram also you will get the read switch okay so here is the read switch this one is the read switch okay so we are going to cover the getting started guide for this display in this video and we are going to cover the tft example as well as power on example in this video now you can download both of the example from their github repository so here you can see examples and here you can see tft example and power on example so we are going to cover this two example in this video and we are going to cover that how you can getting started with lilygo thmi display now first what you have to do is you have to download this entire thmi repository and then you have to copy this library to arduino library folder okay so here you can see in my github i have already downloaded those things so here you can see thmi master okay i have downloaded this one the entire repository here in this folder now i am going to extract it okay once you extract it you have to navigate to the library folder and you have to copy everything okay and then you have to paste it to the arduino library folder so you can navigate to documents arduino and you have to go to the libraries and then you have to paste those library here in this folder okay so we have successfully pasted here because those libraries are designed specifically for lilygo thmi display okay so that's why we have to copy the entire library content and we have to paste that library content to the arduino library folder now we can open arduino ide okay so here we can open arduino here if you get this that updates are available for some of your libraries then you have to click on later otherwise it will update the library which you have just pasted from lilygo thmi folder okay so you don't have to update those library now we are going to cover the tft example and power on example in this video okay so how to run the tft example in our lilygo thmi display so you can uh, go to this thmi master folder and here you can see examples and here you can see tft example okay so you can open this tft ino in your arduino id now here you have to follow some steps to upload this code to your lilygo thmi display now if you navigate to the github repository and if you scroll down then here is the setting which you have to select while uploading the code from arduino to your thmi display so i'm going to open these two things parallelly and here we have to select esp32 as the development module okay but before that let us connect our thmi with our system okay you will also get this uh, touch pen with this and here is the USB-C for programming. Okay, now what you have to do is you have to press this boot button. Okay, so this one is the boot button. Here you can see BOT. So you have to press this boot button and then you have to plug your THMI with your system. Okay, then you can release the boot button. Now this display is in the boot mode and then we can program it okay now once you see that in the boot mode uh, here you can select esp32 s3 development module and then after you can go to the tools now here you can see usb cdc boot okay you have to make it enable 
you have to make CPU frequency 240 megahertz, okay, with Wi-Fi, core debug level none, USB DFU on boot, you have to enable this, and then after events run on core one, flash mode QIO 80 megahertz, flash size 16 MB, okay, JTAG adapter integrated USB JTAG, you have to select, Arduino runs on core one, okay, and uh, then after USB firmware, MSC on boot, you have to disable this. Partition scheme, you have to select huge APP 3 MB. Okay. And PSRAM should be selected as OPI PSRAM. And USB more should be selected as hardware, CDC and JTAG. So once you make those changes in this uh, tool section, you will be able to upload this code to your LilyGo THMI display. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll just compile this code first. Okay, there are no error in this code. So we can uh, upload this code to our Lilico THMI display. So I'm going to open these things in parallel and we are going to upload this code to this display. Okay, uploading is done. Now, once you completely upload your code into THMI display, you have to press the reset button. Now, the middle button, okay, here you can see the middle button is the reset button. Let me show you that. Here you can see middle button is the reset button. Okay, this one. This one. So, you have to press that reset button here. So, I'm going to press it. And once you press that reset button, you will be able to see something. Okay, Lily go. Uh, logo and then the default TFT example. Now I can again press the reset button and here you can see Liligo logo and then the TFT example. Okay, so this is how you can getting started with Liligo THMI display. Okay, so all you have to do is you have to download this entire repository. Okay, the repository link is available on our website. So here is the link. So you have to download this entire repository. You have to copy the content of this lib folder, okay, library folder, and you have to paste entire library content to your Arduino libraries folder, okay, here. And once you do that, okay, you can open the examples folder. So Liligo THMI examples folder, and you can open this TFT example. And once you open this TFT example, you have to make few changes in the tools section after selecting the board. So, so here is the entire setting details that which setting you have to select in the tools menu to successfully upload the code to your THMI display. Okay. And here it is already mentioned that what you have to do with the library folder. Okay. So you have to download ESP32 packages first. Okay. You have to install ESP32 board and you have to copy everything uh, what is available in the library folders to Arduino libraries folder. Okay. And then after you can successfully upload the code using this setting. And here you can see we have successfully uploaded the code and it is running. Now it's completely automatic code. Okay. It will change the orientation at certain interval. Okay. And it will display some number. Everything is written in this code. Now what we will do next is we are going to run the power on example. Okay. Power on example. So again, we'll go to the examples folder in the uh, THMI master. And here you can see power on example. I'm going to open this power on example here. Now again, we have to select ESP32 S3 development module. And here in the tools, again, we have to uh, use same setting. Okay, so USB CDC boot enable. Okay, everything I guess already set up. Now we can compile the code. Okay, compilation is done. There is no error in the code. Now I can upload this code to our THMI display. Okay, now we have uploaded the power on example. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset it. Okay, we have successfully reset. Now I'm going to open the serial monitor. Now, whenever you press the power on button, you will have some output 
here okay here you can see power on button is pressed and here is a power off okay so whenever you are not going to press the power on button you will be having the serial output as power off okay and whenever you are going to press the power on button you will be having output as power on button is pressed okay so here you can see okay so this is the power on example and here is the power on off button okay you can see closely on off button okay so if you have connected this lilygo thmi display with battery and if you want to turn on this board okay if you want to turn on this display then you can program this display that whenever user press the power button the display will turn on if user didn't press the power button then display will stay off otherwise you can set up the timing that it will stay on for five seconds otherwise it will stay off okay so i hope that is clear that how to getting start with lilygo thmi display okay and uh, we have already covered the tft example as well as power on example now in the next video we are going to cover the analogous meter example okay so stay tuned for the next video and if you still have any question or any doubt in the getting started guide for this lilygo thmi display then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can ping me on linkedin also you can send me a mail so let's meet in the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you